Creed 3 sees Michael B. Jordan step back into the ring as Adonis Creed, son of the legendary Apollo Creed from the Rocky franchise, and it also sees him step behind the camera for his directorial debut. The movie focuses on a more personal story to Donnie and gives us a glimpse into his past which was briefly touched upon in the first entry. Does Creed 3 do enough to deliver a knockout, or just manage to go the distance? The film opens with a flashback to a young Donnie sneaking out with his friend and prospective boxer Damien, played masterfully in the present day by Jonathan Majors. This fateful night is the crux of Creed 3 and manages to do a fairly good job at developing Adonis as his own character, rather than being covered by the shadow of Apollo Creed, which was the theme of the previous films and a contentious point when discussing the series. That being said, I can't help but feel that Creed 3 is still stuck under that shadow to a certain degree as when we are left with just Donnie and his family, the movie doesn't provide the same heart that the first Creed films did, possibly attributed to the lack of Sylvester Stallone's Rocky Balboa. Moments that attempt to elicit an emotional response fall flat due to my apathy to Creed as a character and his binary emotional response to nearly every situation. Only a few moments allow Michael B. Jordan to show range outside of being happy or angry. Even when we see Adonis triumph in his boxing matches, his celebration is one of anger and makes it hard for myself to get behind him and cheer him on. Much like Creed, Damien is also written as a fairly one-note antagonist, a ghost from Donnie's past coming back to haunt him. However, the performance that Jonathan Majors gives on screen elevates the material and saves Creed 3 from being a completely two-dimensional movie in which the villain from our hero's past comes back to challenge them. After serving 18 years in prison, Damien may have been set free, but his mind is still locked up. Fortunately, this is emphasized with subtle movements in the performance. Rather than telling us he is broken, Majors allows us to see it in the dead stare he presents his opponents or the awkward glances he gives the world around him. There is a silent intensity in his portrayal of a man who believes his future was stolen from him. Speaking of intensity, you may be wondering how hard did the boxing scenes hit this time around? Well, they do deliver a fair amount with amped up sound effects, stylistic slow-mo, and plenty of blows being traded between fighters. Unfortunately, this does not save them from some nauseating editing and cinematography. I found I had a hard time following some of the exchanges as the camera was extremely closed in on the characters and the cuts between shots were too frantic to follow at points. This is just one of the many choices Michael B. Jordan made behind the camera in an attempt to put his stamp on the film as these scenes look quite different from what we experienced in the previous two entries. I think that this statement is true for much of Creed 3. It has a lot of style on screen and you can see that they were attempting to go their own way with this entry. Much of the stylistic flourishes are good ideas on their own, but they aren't quite as cohesive as they should be. This can be seen the most in the final fight which overly relied on the visual metaphor and as a short film would probably work but as part of the entire film takes the wind out of the sails and removes some of the intensity a final fight in this franchise requires. All this being said, I do look forward to seeing what Michael B. Jordan does as a director moving forward as he showed a lot of promise with this entry in the Creed Saga. All of this may sound quite negative, but I think it is important to note that I saw this movie with a few other individuals who quite enjoyed it, so mileage may vary. It's worth pointing out that the soundtrack was produced by rapper J. Cole's label, Dreamville. It has some standout original tracks such as Adonis Interlude, The Montage by J. Cole, which brings the hype and assists in making Creed 3 shine in this department. If you are a fan of J. Cole and his crew, check this one out. While the film delivers a lot of style and more personal story for its main character, it unfortunately is held back by a script that needed a second pass to bring up the one note dialogue and is missing the heart that the franchise desperately needed to maintain. Much like Adonis Creed in the film, Creed 3 struggles to outrun its past. For all the reasons stated in this review, I am giving Creed 3 a 5.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed the review, leave a like. Let us know your thoughts on Creed 3 in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more movie reviews and discussions, make sure to subscribe. Remember, these were just our thoughts.